Have you ever wondered what would happen if the internet went off for weeks or months? No, well, too bad, we are discussing it anyway. Imagine waking up one day and finding your digital lifeline cut off. No emails to check, no social media feeds to scroll through, no funny cat videos to watch during your coffee break. Your digital devices suddenly reduced to mere paperweights. It's enough to make one shudder, isn't it? We live in an era so dominated by the internet that a single day without it feels like being thrust back into the Stone Age. No, scratch that. At least the Stone Age folks had fire. We'd be left fumbling in the dark, quite literally. But have you ever stopped to consider what could possibly cause such a catastrophic blackout? A massive server crash, a global cyber attack, or perhaps aliens deciding to play a cosmic prank on us? Well, the actual answer is closer to home, and yet, paradoxically, millions of miles away. We're talking about solar superstorms. Yes, you heard it right. Our very own sun, that giant glowing ball of gas that keeps us warm and lights up our days, could potentially plunge us into internet darkness. Solar superstorms are essentially massive outbursts of electromagnetic energy from the sun. When this energy reaches our planet, it can cause electronic satellites to malfunction, induce voltage surges globally, and even trigger complete blackouts in some areas. Now, before you start panicking and begin hoarding DVDs and board games, let me clarify one thing. These solar superstorms are not a regular occurrence. They are like nature's own version of a cosmic lottery, unpredictable and infrequent. So the next time you can't post your lunch on Instagram, it might not be your service provider's fault. It could be the sun playing pranks on you. Now let's dive into what these solar superstorms are, shall we? Spoiler alert, they're not just the sun having a bad hair day. Picture the sun as a colossal cosmic chef whipping up a batch of solar superstorms. It starts with a sprinkle of solar flares, adds a dash of coronal mass ejections and finally a pinch of magnetized solar wind to give it that extra kick. The result? A cocktail of charged particles and magnetic fields that make a beeline for Earth at a staggering speed of a million miles per hour. Now you might be wondering, what's the big deal? It's just a bunch of particles, right? Well, imagine these particles as billions of tiny, electrically charged bullets zipping through space at incredible speeds. When they hit our planet, they don't just bounce off like harmless ping-pong balls. Instead, they interact with Earth's magnetic field, generating intense electrical currents. These currents are like an army of invisible electric eels, slithering their way into our power grids, electronic devices and satellites. They can cause voltage surges that can fry electronic circuits, create complete blackouts and even force satellites into a game of cosmic pinball. And if you think resetting your Wi-Fi router is a pain, try rebooting a satellite that's 22,000 miles above the Earth. Our planet's magnetic field usually does a stellar job of shielding us from these solar tantrums. But when a solar superstorm hits, it's like the sun has chugged a cosmic energy drink and is ready to party hard. The resulting geomagnetic storm can overload our electronic systems, causing them to malfunction or, in worst-case scenarios, completely shut down. In other words, a solar superstorm is like a massive cosmic energy drink that can give our electronic devices more power than they can handle, and not in a good way. Now, if you're wondering why we can't just predict these solar superstorms and prepare for them, well, it's not that simple. Imagine you're playing a cosmic lottery where the grand prize isn't a lifetime supply of chocolate or a trip around the world. No, it's something far more electrifying. The grand prize is a world without internet. Sounds thrilling, right? Well, that's essentially what predicting solar superstorms is like. Um, our sun, the life-giving star we take for granted, is a bit like an unpredictable fiery lottery ball machine. It's constantly churning and spewing out solar flares and coronal mass ejections. These solar events can cause geomagnetic storms, which on a bad day can disrupt electronic satellites, cause voltage surges globally, and even lead to complete blackouts in some areas. Now, we've got some pretty clever folks working on this problem. Scientists with their fancy telescopes and high-tech equipment are doing their best to understand solar behavior. But the truth is our data is still quite limited. It's a bit like trying to predict the winning lottery numbers based on the last two draws. Good luck with that. We're dealing with a celestial body that's about one million times the size of Earth with an internal dynamo that's constantly churning and changing. It's like trying to predict the mood of a fiery cosmic cat. You can try all you want, but in the end, it's going to do what it wants when it wants. So, while we'd all love to know when the next internet apocalypse might hit, the reality is we're still at the mercy of the cosmic lottery. 
So the next time someone tells you they can predict the weather, ask them about solar superstorms. That'll get them. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. A solar superstorm does come with its perks. Now imagine this. The internet is down, your favorite streaming service has come to a standstill, and you're suddenly reminded of a time when offline was the norm. But as you look outside, you see something that makes you forget your Wi-Fi password altogether. A mesmerizing spectacle of shimmering colors dancing across the sky. Yes, we're talking about the Aurora Lights, nature's very own light show. A solar superstorm, while it might wreak havoc on our digital lives, can intensify the beauty of these auroras. A burst of charged particles from the sun collides with Earth's magnetic field, painting the sky with hues of green, red, yellow, and even purple. It's like nature's way of saying, Sorry about the internet, mate. Here, have some pretty lights instead. This cosmic spectacle is not just limited to the polar regions. A strong enough solar storm can push these auroras further down towards the equator. So, even if you're not bundled up in an igloo in the Arctic or penguin spotting in the Antarctic, you could still witness this celestial ballet. So, imagine this scenario. Your internet goes down, your screen freezes, and you for once decide to look up from your devices. There you see a sky full of lights, a spectacle so beautiful it makes you forget the absence of your digital comforts. It's like a cosmic consolation prize, a reminder that the universe has its own version of a spectacular display and it doesn't require any data or Wi-Fi. And who knows, you might even pick up a new hobby, stargazing anyone, or perhaps Aurora chasing could be the next big thing. After all, who needs to scroll through social media feeds when you can gaze at a sky full of cosmic art? So the next time the internet goes down, instead of cursing your service provider, look up at the sky. You might be in for a treat. So what have we learned today? Besides the fact that the sun has the power to ruin our Netflix binge watching sessions. Well, we've discovered that our beloved internet has an Achilles heel. And it's not your neighbor stealing your Wi-Fi. It's something far more grandiose. A solar superstorm, a celestial tantrum, if you will, has the power to send our electronic satellites into a frenzy, cause voltage surges globally, and if it's feeling particularly grumpy, cause complete blackouts in some areas. Sounds like a plot of a dystopian sci-fi movie, doesn't it? But it's not all doom and gloom. We've also learned that predicting these solar mood swings is akin to playing a cosmic lottery. Our understanding of solar behavior is still in its infancy, so while we can't accurately predict when the next geomagnetic storm will occur, we do know that the upcoming one is expected to be of moderate intensity. But remember, even in the face of potential internet apocalypse, nature never forgets to put on a show. The same geomagnetic storm that threatens to disrupt our digital lives may lead to a mesmerizing display of aurora lights in certain parts of the world. And isn't it fascinating how nature works? The same celestial body that gives us life can also cause a bit of chaos. It's a beautiful poetic balance reminding us that we're all part of this vast cosmic dance. So the next time you're enjoying a lazy Sunday with your favorite online game or streaming service, remember the sun is watching and it might just decide to pull the plug.